New developments in a Target 12 investigators exclusive questionable contract. We found when the state hiked up your beach parking fees in 2011, the big winner was an out of state company. Today, the state Senate held a hearing in the wake of our story to examine what happened. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story in May and is live in the newsroom now with the latest details. Our investigation revealed that when Governor Lincoln Chafee raised beach fees in his 2011 budget, which was passed by state lawmakers, a contract with an out of state parking company that manages the lots at your state beaches was never renegotiated. So a Connecticut company uh, called ProPark took in almost a million dollars dollars extra over three years instead of the money going to the state. In addition, cities and towns that host the beaches actually lost money because the attendance went down when fees went up. During today's special commission hearing at the State House, State Senator Ed O'Neill, a vocal critic of the deal, asked the head of the Department of Environmental Management why the state contract wasn't renegotiated when the company got the unexpected windfall. So yes, they received more money. It was part of the deal that was set out in the contract. And so there was no material change that would cause someone to say, oh my goodness, it was something that was contemplated and set out very clearly. State officials told lawmakers today that they are now putting the beach parking contract out to bid this year to see if they can get a more competitive deal. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.